Hi everyone, welcome to MAN 3240 Organizational Behavior. Uh, we are going to have a very busy upcoming few weeks, but I wanted to get everyone started off on the right foot. So if you please give me about 10 minutes of your time, I'm going to cover a lot of things about the course and hopefully save everyone a lot of um, stress and aggravation later on. So the first thing I need everybody to do is go ahead and get your book ordered. There is no time to waste in a seven week class. Your first um, uh, exercises and exam is going to be due during this first week, but it's okay. And I'm not giving extensions. The publisher does give you 17 days free access though to an ebook and to the um, software where you'll be completing your assignments. So uh, there should be no worries even if you don't yet have your book ordered or in hand. So here's the book we're going to be using. It's called Essentials of Organizational Behavior by Robinson Judge. It's the 12th edition. Uh, you need access to My Management Lab. So the ISBN for the book plus My Management Lab you'll find here or just the book. Uh, if you just want to order the book and purchase the My Lab access separately, I believe it's only $40 though if you want to purchase that access separately. So you will need a copy of the book and My Management Lab Access. If you buy the book from the bookstore, it will come with the My Management Lab Access. Or as I mentioned, you can buy it directly from the publisher for $40. Oops, what happened? Um, you can use the paper or electronic book. I really don't care, whatever you prefer. Older versions I'm not familiar with, so um, you can use them at your own risk. I don't know, it may be perfectly fine, it may not. It's hard to say. So again, you do need that My Management Lab access. So uh, I double checked. The price at the bookstore is $160, and it is getting a little bit pricey, I see. There is a website out there called allbookstores.com, which I like to check for the best prices. So it looked like they had a book for a $50 rental. If you add the $40 My Management Lab purchase, that brings the cost down to $90. You could buy a new book for $106 plus the My Management Lab purchase. It did appear to be that you can find a student value edition there, which is supposed to include the My Lab for um, a rental of $70 or a purchase of $100. So again, those are good options for you. If you look under the Syllabus tab in Blackboard, I put a link there to the allbookstores.com for you. Um, or you can buy the ebook from the publisher, I'll show you here in a minute, for $86. So that's much more affordable right there. Second priority is to register for My Management Lab. I told you that the publisher allows you to register for free for up to 17 days. So that should give everyone plenty of time to get their materials ordered and in hand before um, the 17 days expire. So this is <laughs> it's great for professors because now there are no excuses for not getting your work done and completing the first uh, exam. So let me show you a little bit about the My Management Lab. So what's going to happen? You're going to go to Blackboard. You're going to go to Blackboard and click on Course Content. Here's where you're going to access the My Management Lab. So you just pick on any module. We have it set up by weeks basically. Um, you'll click on the module that we're working on for that week. And the very first link I have up for you is the Pearson My, My Lab. You'll also see we have some other information, introduction, the objectives, the actual assignments for that particular week. You can access the discussion board from here. I've also included some additional resources and a self-assessment that you can complete. But So the first time you come in to the course, sorry, you want to go to this My Lab Mastering course. And then it should bring you up to a similar page like this. So it's going to tell you if you have a Pearson account, you already have a MyLab account, you can sign in here or you'll click on here as a student to register. Then you'll get a uh, screen after you put in all of your personal information that looks like this. So if you have an access code, you just go ahead and enter it here. It's like it comes with the code, the bookstore one does, so you can go ahead and enter that here. Here's where you get your temporary access free, down here at the bottom, so you'll click on that. If you do create a free account, make sure when you do get an access code that you enter it under the account you created. Don't create a whole new account. That creates a whole other issue of problems uh, with multiple accounts because your grades don't combine. So you have to make sure you add it to the current account. If you want to purchase that e-text, with the MyLab Access right here, $86, or if you just want the MyLab Access because you're buying a book somewhere else, um, 40 bucks.
third priority would be to review the course schedule in syllabus. Again, if we go back to Blackboard, right here there's a tab called Syllabus you'll go ahead and see the syllabus listed right here and also I have a calendar of activities tab which will summarizes for you what's due every week in a nice format there I do recommend you print that off in case Blackboard is down and you need to contact me you'll have my contact information available so here's the summary of course requirements you have 17 comprehensive exams at 30 points each oh. This says, should say chapter exercises, my fault. So you'll have 15 chapter exercises at 10 points each, four writing assignments, seven discussion forums, and there's extra credit listed in the syllabus. So the comprehensive exams are 15 multiple choice questions, each worth two points. They cover one chapter. You get 60 minutes to complete those. You get one attempt. Those are to com be completed solely by the student whose name appears upon that exam. So it's uh, open book, open note, but not open neighbor. Here's an important point. Late comprehensive exams are not accepted. I do not accept late work. So you need to make sure uh, if you're a procrastinator that you start working in advance make sure you have adequate time to get your work done. I am uh, a lot more flexible with students if they contact me in advance, meaning at least 24 hours before the due date, rather than after the fact. You're going to be out of luck after the fact. Uh, you'll have four writing assignments, and those will be completed in my management lab as well. So I'll give you a writing prompt, a question, and then you'll have to reply to that in 100 to 1,000 words. And those will be auto-graded. I'll point that out to you um, here in a second. Again, late assignments are not accepted. Discussion board forms. You'll have seven discussion boards. Those are 20 points each. Complete those in Blackboard. Um, I recommend you follow this 4321 criteria. People who do generally do just fine. Make sure you, your posts have at least four sentences. Usually by the time students get to the four sentence, they've said something that has some meaning that's some, somewhat substantial. You need to post at least three times during the week. Your initial post to the question being asked plus two um, responses to fellow students. You need to post on at least two different days. For some reason, students have a real hard time doing this, but this is meant to be an ongoing discussion. It's not meant to be a let's drop into the discussion board once for a half an hour during the week. This is an ongoing discussion. Log in, get in the habit of logging in at the beginning of the week and then again later on in the week to post your responses. And uh, each post must contain, contain at least one point. Again, I don't accept late postings because again, it's an ongoing discussion. So once the discussion forums close, nobody's looking at it it's not worth my time to go ahead and reopen that up. Let's just look into my my uh, management lab here. Okay, so when you log into my management lab, <laughs> it should look something like this. Your screen may be ever so slightly different because this is the instructor view. But if you click on Course Home up here, you'll see some purchase options. You have the option to get a um, print print offers I think it's like $45 so they'll basically send you a copy of the book for $45 here if you've already purchased the MyLab access or you can buy the e-text access here copy of the syllabus I've uploaded right oh no I haven't I'll go ahead and do that assignment calendar this is like the calendar of activities that you will find in Blackboard so it tells you what's due on what dates um, very nice handy snapshot for you to make sure that you're getting everything done as requested. Come back to that maybe. Oh, there's May. Let's see. June. I'll have to go ahead and add those in as well. The grade book is where you'll find your course grades. Here's the e-text. Chapter content. This is pretty important. So by chapter, you'll have all the materials you need. There's an interactive lecture, which I highly recommend you watch before you do anything else. Um, and then you can see here, this will be your exercise for chapter one. It's a video exercise. If you click on it, it's going to tell you to preview the assessment. It'll give you a little video and ask you some questions, and that's worth 10 points. Sometimes you'll get a critical thinking exercise. Um, and then the comprehensive exam. Very similar. It's a one-hour time frame. You get one attempt, 15 questions.
and make sure you take those by the due date. So depending on which chapter we're covering, again, you'll have a video exercise, critical thinking, or an actual simulation. So let me go ahead and close that. Then if you come down here to writing space, you'll find the auto graded writing assignments. So um, there is a rubric for those. It's five, five specific traits that they're grading you on and 20% per item. Now your screen will probably look slightly different as I mentioned to you because I, I have the instructor view, but it will give you the question and then it will ask you to go ahead and start writing when you're ready and then the actual rubric you'll be able to view as well. So if you have any questions on anything related to the course, please let me know. Thank you.